Hello, everyone. I'm Susie. See you again. Today, we will delve deep into the intersection of AI and IoT. Before we just start over today's session, I would like to extend my gratitude to the Conf 44 who invited me to be here and meet all of you again. Now let's begin. If you didn't watch my previous videos or recordings, here is a little bit about me. I'm currently working as a DevOps manager and software operations architect at Signify, formerly Famous Lighting. Over the past three years, I have deeply, I have deeply delved into and involved into the AI and machine learning, etc., which is why I'm here. And meanwhile, I'm also an avid contributor to open source. So if you are curious, scan the QR code on the left side, where you will gain my latest articles, speeches, and also up, uh, my upcoming technical books. So now, first, we'll discuss the AIoT. So what does it mean, AIoT? Here it is, AIoT. It's just a new term. AI in IoT is AIoT. Here I just choose three examples. It's quite a practical examples for AI in IoT. The first one, automated vehicles. You may realize some brand is quite famous, right? For example, like Tesla, Waymo is kind of pioneers in this industry. And also smart city. For example, like lighting, our company is kind of a, is a lighting leader and video surveillance and monitoring traffic and smart buildings. For, mon for manufacturing, they take advantage like uh, deep learning and deep neural networks to do the kind of product quality checks in production line. And here I pick five use case in real life AIoT industry. And for each part, for example, like NLP, it's one of, it's a subfield of AI. For, because for AI, there, they has more than um, seven major subfields. But here I pick five to relate it to AIoT. So let's dive into. The first one, and like Alexa, Google Assistant, Siri, they are all kind of virtual assistant. But we, you know, we, in IoT, we have some like a speaker. We can have inter interaction with Alexa, right? To light Alexa, this speaker, to play videos or play music or to uh, Im implement some tasks, yeah, etc. So they take advantage like uh, the NLP and also, um, for example, like um, voice recognition model as well, right? To achieve um, human being to interact with uh, this kind of uh, IoT product. Second, expert systems. Take uh, IBM Watson, for example. It has been utilized uh, for um, in, in, in hospital and uh, what they can do like a medical diagnosis is quite uh, amazing and, all, and also very practical. And uh, number three, machine vision. As I mentioned before, you know, like a uh, neural network uh, and that has been uh, used for this purpose. But here is machine vision. It can be used in production line to do this kind of uh, production uh, quality checks. Number four. Here it is. Planning is, is also one of the sub, is one subfield of AI. Self-driving car. They take advantage like planning AI technology to navigate the rules and it can help the driver, you know, it's a self-driving car. It can help the driver to find the best route. Number five is quite an amazing part. For example, like a Boston Dynamics sport robot. Have you heard this news before? And it's really astonishing because this robot can navigate the terrain and also to conduct like um, rescue missions in, in, in dangerous situations. 
it will save human beings' life, you know, dramatically. It's really practical for in IoT. But uh, if we think about it, you know, for the IoT part, you know, we take advantage of AI technology. You know, it's fascinating. You know, it's like uh, AI technology. It's like uh, a coin with two sides. Now we just uh, explore the amazing part of AI. But the thing about it, it's not like a traditional software, right? If our for traditional software, if it has been hacked by AI, it will just, um, you know, cause your website uh, downtime or your financial losses. But if it come into the IoT, for example, like these robots or some machine, um, or something else, or increase your your flights, your bedroom's temperature, uh, more than one one hundred degrees Celsius, it will kill people, right? So we must prioritize the AIoT security, right? So now let's go ahead. AIoT security. So we will focus on how we can enhance security in IoT, in AIoT. You know, AI technology, you know, is not a new term. It's, uh, it has been coined um, in 1956, almost seven years ago. But, you know, with the explosion of AI technologies, the current AI security view, I mean, the scope of AI security will extend it, will expand very fast. But we can still take advantage of the old security classification, right? For example, here it is. Look at the diagram. And you will see there is an overlap between IT security and information security. It's network security. And the network security belongs to cybersecurity. And look at the cybersecurity. I think you are quite familiar with the cybersecurity a lot, right? We got hacked, uh, you know, all kind of related to the information security and the cybersecurity belongs to uh, information security. Here it is. IoT security has been involved, has been included in cybersecurity. What is it? What's a IoT security? For example, like 5G networks, our internet for vehicles, and also industrial IoT. When we just uh, talk about uh, industrial control system, oh, sorry, uh, related to uh, uh, IIoT, we definitely need to refer to this term, uh, ICS. It means industrial control system. So what is it? Look at the right side. There is a uh, timeline. His ICI is a separate incident. It's a real case. Happened uh, since uh, 1903. Take one for example, like uh, 2012. There is a campaign called uh, Guys Pipeline Cyber Intrusion Campaign. You know, think about it. This pipeline is very crucial in, in infrastructure or even a nuclear industry. You know, if they had been um, kind of hacked by AI, you know, it will potentially not kill a couple of persons. It will dramatically destroy a city or even an entire country, right? We we really, I think nobody will like, you know, like this kind of AIoT, you know, out of a our control, human beings control. So we definitely need to prioritize IO, AIoT security as much as possible and also as soon as possible. And when we talk about uh, AIoT security, we definitely need you know, to learn the AI security, right? Because, you know, for IoT part, there is a product, is a real object, just a Send, send in front of you or just beside you. And the, here is the AI technology. Oh, you can regard it as AI model. They have interaction with each other, the product and the AI part. Between AI model and also the IoT object, our product, devices, etc. And we must make sure the connection. Yeah, cyber security, right? And also we need to make sure the data security, right? Yeah, this is between the AI model and the IoT devices. 
but we must make sure for the AI part or the also the IoT part, they both the security. They can make sure themselves are secure, right? So for AI part, here it is. There is some list about AI security. Like um, first, data security, definitely. Privacy preservation, because it's related to the AI part. And the information security, and also uh, explainability, transparency, you know, because we, we are kind of, you know, AI, this technology or model or machine. In front of human being, it's kind of a black, um, black box. We must make sure everything is explainable and also transparent. Otherwise, it has been trained by, you know, for, for example, like uh, by, um, what should I say? The very by the purpose or malicious purpose. Wow. You couldn't imagine this machine can go, can take which direction, right? It may be just, you know, <laughs> do some very evil, evil stuff. We do not want this kind of thing happen or, you know, into the re reality. And IoT security is also, uh, has been included in AI security as well. And also human AI interaction security, model security with the AI explosion. I mean, AI technology explosion. We will uh, see more and more model will be launched, you know. So definitely model security and the best finance security. You know, we are human being living, um, you know, in based uh, in a world with different cultures, civilization, and even different religions, right? So we, you know, for the machine, it's just the box. Oh, it's just the machine. It's some we are human being to give them data, to train them, to get to what, uh, get the result of what we are looking forward. What, what do we expect, right? So we definitely make sure there's a bias and fairness. This security can, you know, this bias and fairness can be solved. It cannot be exploited by malicious purpose. And the life cycle security and the regulatory compliance, hybrid AI human security. For each of these, you definitely, we definitely to uh, make sure the AI part is secure. And also, we will make sure our IoT devices, you know, for example, like a firmware and a hardware, you know, you need to, we, you know, we have, we know, as we all know, you know, our apps or software, they have bugs. We definitely need to make sure our IoT product has a kind of a regular update and fix the, you know, kind of a potential vulnerability. Uh, box, right? And for the AI part, no matter, you know, we are in IoT, oh, sorry, no, we are not in, we are in IoT industry or any industry for AI side, for every, you know, for everyone, we need to prioritize this AI security. But today we talk about uh, AIoT, right? So for the IoT part, we need to make sure the, the uh, regular updates, uh, and uh, between the, both of them, and uh, then cyber security, and also the data security, et cetera, right? So now here's a summary. We talk about uh, AIoT definition and the real case, uh, real life use case in reality, and uh, also the information security, IoT security in AI, and also AI security definition, right? I think we just uh, talk about uh, all kinds of AIoT stuff, some very uh, astonishing, you know, kind of use case. It has been applied in reality and see even, for example, like that robotics can, you know, conduct a rescue, uh, con conduct a rescue, uh, re rescue. Yeah. Okay. And so it also, another part we need to care about the AI security very much because it's not like a software, right? It's uh, some, some object, you know, kind of interact with a human being directly. And also the infrastructure, like, um, you know, nuclear in industry or ICIs, this kind of thing. So do we definitely need to prioritize the AI security? especially in IoT. 
I hope you all enjoy today's talk and、um, maybe get a little bit、um, inspiration. I will be very grateful. And thank you. See you soon. Bye bye.